I'm an English person from England. As I was growing up, Halloween wasn't really a big thing around here. The only thing we did for Halloween was apple bobbing and scary films. Now, I am saying this because it is coming up to Halloween. And have a look at this. What do you notice with all of these bases around the server? Not one Halloween decoration amongst them. As the person with the least experience of decorating for Halloween on the server, we could go around and spookify it up and make it all Halloween-y. So for this to work, there are a number of things that we need to get. Mainly, skulls. I want to get skeleton skulls, creeper skulls, maybe some zombie skulls. But how do we get this? We need to go and get ourselves a try wait for some lightning, electrify those creepers, blow them up, collect heads. But, um, I don't have a trident. Job number one for today, get trident. Here is the seat, let's find some of those drones. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, as you can tell from that, I'm pretty happy. I'm not going to lie, that took a good few hours to get all of that trident. So to enchant this trident, I have got mending, I've got unbreaking, and obviously we've got channeling. However, I've just found out I've not got a loyalty villager. This needs to be sorted before we go anywhere else. Sorted. Now we just need lightning. Let's go and find a nice spot in the grasslands where we're able to get some lightning. And then we can do all our mob hunting there. Here we go. This looks like a good spot. This looks like we'll get a plenty of lightning around here. So now we wait. Yeah, and wait, we did. I was sat twiddling my thumbs for days and days and days. But eventually our time came to get those pesky creepers. Woohoo! Here we go! Creeper. Oh, oh, my. Oh, there's loads of them. Not now. <laughs> Feel my wrath. Oh, quick. Oh, where's my trident? Nailed it. There we go. However, it was at this point my day took a turn for the worse. But it wasn't long before my superior fighting skills took over. Well, who knew playing with creepers was so dangerous? But we got what we needed. The reason why we needed that creeper head was so that I could do this. That's it. All those hours waiting was for that moment. But Soli, what are you going to do with that creeper banner I hear you ask? Well, we are going to make some spooky banners. Loom. Banner. Die. Creeper. Yes. And here we have our ghost. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. We've got a few more banners to make. We really need to make a start on these decorations. And what better place to start than our own base? We're going to build a pumpkin house. A pumpkin house with a spooky graveyard by the side of it. We've got a spooky little pumpkin house. Look at this. Oh, it's, it's, it's a perfect little house. If we go in, get some black and orange on the go for the carpet. We have got a few friendly heads dotted around that are on spikes. But everything a cozy little house needs. What else could you need? But we don't want to stop here. No, no, no. We need to make this area look a lot more spooky than it is. And what else can we add, I hear you say? How about a spooky tree? We're getting a bit spookier now. Look at these trees. They got cobwebs on it. A few of these red vine things. A few lamps. And this one's got a hanging eyeball on it. But this isn't done. Oh no. We've got plenty of room around here. Spooky graveyard and pumpkin patch. After a bit more decorating of the land, we are sufficiently spooky. Look at this. So we've got our pumpkin house. We've got our trees. We've got our little pumpkin patch with little pickles on top. <laughs> and we've also got our graveyard with zombie and skeletons coming out of the ground. And a burning zombie back there, apparently. With all this done, now is the time to pay a visit to the rest of the bases on the server 
and fully spookify them. Okay, it is now a few days later. It's now the 26th of October. I have been ill for the last few days, so I've not managed to get on. But now is the time to go decorating. First up, because it's the closest to our base, Lucid. So Lucid's base is spread out a little bit. We've got his main portal here, which is pretty cool. We've got a lot of farms over there, and then we've got this big thing behind us, and I have no idea what's up there. But this seems like a good a place as any to start. First up, a guillotine. And because this is Lucid's base, we've got Lucid's head. Bit of blood. We have got a guillotine. Nice. Right, now we've got that, we can start adding a few more decorations around the place. There's a distinct lack of pumpkins around here. It's Halloween. We need pumpkins. So we've got pumpkin patch over there with hanging eyeball. We've got our guillotine. We've got another pumpkin patch there. There's a growth of pumpkins over this way. What we're missing around here is probably Lu Lucy's head on a spike. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Next up, ghosts. Yeah, we've definitely got to have a ghost overlooking his dripstone farm. Look at him up there. <laughs> I don't want to go too hard and put loads down in this base. We've got other ideas for other bases. And I think we move on to the next base. And that is going to be that one just there. That is going to be Civ and Skills right next door to him. So we can combine that one for around here. Haunted house just up there. And maybe a little graveyard with some of the undead coming out of the ground. <laughs> Oh my, it's pretty loud around here. I'll take it, they have got their sheep farm underneath this. <laughs> so now it's time to put something a little bit bigger down. But we don't want to go too big. No, we're not trying to get in the way too much. Let's build them a little abandoned house. For a spooky little abandoned house, I think we are good. What do you think? Don't, don't judge me like I said. Halloween, not my thing. But look at this. Look at this. It, it looks abandoned, doesn't it? It does. Let me go in. And then there's all kinds of growth and cobwebs and more pumpkins and a head with blood. An abandoned bed. It's, it, it's abandoned. Spooky. Whoa. Next up, we've got our graveyard to do. So everything that we do put down here as well, I'm going to let them keep. It's it, They can keep all the resources. And because of that, we can use loads stones. We're not cheaping out on this. Oh, no, 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 no. So low stones for grave stones. And this is the bit where we're going a little bit different with this one. We need nighttime so we can go and collect the living dead and put them into these graves. Luckily, before it gets dark, I have just remembered that we need name tags. Otherwise, this will be a complete waste of time. And as you can see, the sun is going down behind my head. I need to be quick. I just realized it would have been quicker to go to the shopping district. We've got tags over there. To get them from here, I'll have to go and buy them from my villagers. And that will take time. Let's let's head back to the shopping district quick. Ah. Here we go. Our shop. No tags. Yoink. That'll do. Now it's time to find the undead. Here's our first one. Come on, dude. You're coming with me. Undead number one. Yes. Yes. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Wrong. Ha ha ha. In you go. First guy in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, ow. Here we go. Go. He's in. He's in. Two of them in. Ha ha ha. I have to say, I am happy with how this has come on. Look at our little graveyard. And I've just added a few more cobwebs over there, which makes it look really spooky now. I'm liking that. But look at it. Look at this. These guys have got a beautiful home now. But we're not done there yet. We have got more decorating to do. How about we add some ghosts and some other decorations around the area to make it look even spookier? I definitely need eyes from that cliff. They would look awesome. Oh, <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, it's just a thing of beauty. On to the next one. Mayu and Sky's place. Quite pretty. Just ignore that monstrosity in the middle. But pretty. This place would suit a pumpkin house just like ours. And I'm going to put it there on top of that little hill. So let's clear this out. Perfect. So after building the pumpkin, we had to make it look like it fit into the area. So at this point, we added some pods all, all around the pumpkin. And then we added some paths in just to make it look more natural. And then once all that was in, we added a witch's cauldron. But don't touch this. Bad things may happen. So for a bit of a change, I then thought, let's do something a little bit different. Let's put a couple of heads in a cabinet. The heads of Mayu and Sky. 
This turned out pretty cool. Yet another base falls victim. I mean, um, has been improved with all these Halloween decorations. The server is starting to look good now. You're welcome, everyone. But we've still got more to go. A few more bases and then the shopping district. No wonder I never decorate for Halloween. It takes ages and it's all for one day. Halloween bar humbug or something like that. <laughs> Next up, we've got Mad Tiger's base. And although this place is looking very pretty and very green, it needs some Halloween. That rhymed. Let's do this the quick way. Ah, much better. Halloween. Iconic Blue Jays place. Go! And now it's all ready for Halloween. After doing all this decorating, I so wish that a click of her fingers would finish all that for me. Uh, j just once. Just w at least once. We've now vandalized, I mean, decorated most of the bases. One place remains, the shopping district. We've got to decorate the biggest place on the server. Look at the size of it. And we are going to start by building a massive pumpkin, because obviously it is Halloween, over on that mountain just there. That way, it'll stand out amongst all this, and it's not getting involved with all the shops over here. But... I am struggling for pumpkins. Why have I not built a pumpkin farm yet? Also, why did I start this project when I've not even got a pumpkin farm? Farm is definitely coming later though. So we've collected a load of pumpkins. Next job is to get rid of these mushrooms and flatten this hill down a bit. This space should be big enough for our pumpkin. It's going to be quite a big one. Now we just start planning it all out. Time to place some smaller pumpkins to make big pumpkin. Unfortunately, clicking of fingers did not work on this one. Trust me, I tried many times. Yes, look at that. Evil. We just need a few finishing touches and then we're done with this. We have got a pumpkin with evil burning blue eyes. <laughs> I like that. Now, speaking of pumpkins, we've got to dot a few more around this area to make it look like it is Halloween. Because at the moment, as you can see, it's not very Halloween-y, is it? So pumpkins first, and then we'll see what else we can put down. But pumpkins are our main thing. I don't think I want to go too mad with these pumpkins because we've got to tidy these up afterwards. <laughs> so we'll just add a few around here, there and everywhere. That's it. I'm out of pumpkins. I'm not farming pumpkins anymore. That will have to do for pumpkins. I'm sick of pumpkins. That's it. That is it. I am officially losing my mind. I've had enough of decorating now. <laughs> no more. No more. We've done our big pumpkin over there with the spooky eyes. <laughs> ah, we've kind of give the shopping district a little work over. There's plenty of cobwebs everywhere. So hopefully you've enjoyed my little decorating spree. I had quite a bit of fun, although I'm pretty glad it's over. Happy Halloween for those of you that do celebrate it. If you don't, it's just the 31st of October. Almost November. Yay. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.